Hello and welcome to the Listening Posts unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Anthem's brand new MRX 540 home theatre amplifier. This five channel 100 and, no it's 100 watts into 8 ohms but 130 into 6 so it's very stable lots and lots of power is a wonderful evolution of the predecessors that we've seen like the 520s. It is a style change um, uh, following the introduction of the STR uh, integrated amplifiers. Unusually this has a 7.2 channel processor on board allowing you to uh, add external amplification if you want to play around with Atmos or other um, additional rears. So cool, really cool feature set. Um, on board though, there's IMAX, there's other key features, and we'll see this as we see the badges and other things along those lines. It'll do the 4K 60 frames, it's AirPlay and AirPlay 2. Uh, there's Bluetooth, so we're covering off now a really good world of uh, features that Anthem only touched on in some of their older models. So, let's have a look. Right, firstly, Anthem packaging. Uh, the top and two sides, we've got scannable information about its model and serial number. Um, this big bright sticker is across one corner, so it's very, very easy if this is in a stack to be able to see model information at a glance. That's awesome. Uh, apart from a freight ticket, of course. Um, so again, emulated on the other side. Like most anthems, it's sealed with uh, traditional sort of packing tape. Very, very straightforward to get in. And as always, if you can avoid it, don't drag the knife across the centre of the amp uh, to risk, of course, damaging potentially accessories and other things like that. Okay. So, looking at it, there's very clearly some traditional accessories, and we'll go into this one in a moment. Even a box with power cords and other things are everything you would expect. But there's something quite unique about the Anthem range, and that's their dedication to the room correction and speaker setup that most other manufacturers either sort of contracted out to other potential suppliers, but very, very few do it well, and very, very few do it well in house. With uh, Paradigm, Anthem, and Martin Logan collaborating, they've created the ARC. Or um, automatic room correction. They're in uh, the third generation, I think, and they now call it ARC Genesis, and this is brilliant. Now, with every home care amplifier, why I paused with the accessories, it comes free on board a substantial setup microphone and basic tripod for the purposes of properly equalizing your room, your speakers, and all of those things and issues that you may face. This is on board. This is on board a really, really cost-effective amplifier. So it's wonderful that Anthem has made this investment. Now, apart from the fact that it's on polystyrene ends, if you want to see all of the bits and pieces that are in here, please um, jump into the MRX uh, 740 AV receiver unboxing. I'm going to leave this one in the box. Other than the comment that it's wonderful and such a affordable, entry-level product that they still include some of the very best room and speaker correction on board. Okay, uh, the amplifier, very, very easy to get out of its box. Okay. It's got some polystyrene ends. Setting that off to one side, we're just going to drill into the accessories. Uh, this is a traditional kind of care pack that you expect to see. It's uh, taped closed with a couple of pieces of um, tape. Getting into it's very, very straightforward. We've got a basic connection guide. I mean, this is, you know, put the batteries in the remote control. This is where you point it. This is how you plug things in and out. Bit of warranty information, including to including how to jump into Anthem's website and log in. And um, we've got 
a couple of um, big Wi-Fi antenna. Now, obviously with all of the streaming and internet capable things that are associated with our hi-fi industry today, getting good quality certainty of your wireless is important. So they've included not one but two uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, there's in the bottom of the bag a set of AAA batteries and then the unit's remote control. Now the remote is the same as the one for the previous models. Uh, in fact, I think it's the same remote for all of the current range. It is everything you would need to be and nothing much more. Uh, once the batteries are in, the ergonomic design means that it sits very, very easily in your left or right hand and navigation of the basic operation is very, very easy. Most of the things you may do are going to be sort of set for set and forget so you're going to dial into the menu and set up the speaker configuration and save it and then walk away so the main buttons of volume and input are easy to navigate with the thumb there's a semi sort of rubberized texture to the remote so it's very unlikely that it's going to slip out of the hand so that's nice as well in the uh, second brown box it's the boring stuff and like we commonly see in New Zealand, um, power cords for other uh, countries. So we've got one for Singapore, it's a IEC. Uh, there's our New Zealand, two pin, uh, IEC, no earth, and one for England. Getting into the amplifier is very easy. There's an oversized sort of poly paper bag, ensuring that it's very, very well protected in freight. Getting that bag off is really straightforward. Just sort of pick a corner, slip it over, slip it over the feet, and sort of uh, continue that process um, as you rock the amplifier and slip the bag off. The, the bottom of the amplifier is stuck to it. And just give me a second. On the bottom of the amplifier, we have two disc and bags stuck in place. Now these bags are used to ensure that any moisture that might build up in, 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 in transit is dealt with right here. So sticking it exactly on the bottom means that you know it's done its job and uh, it's you know one of those little things that Anthony has been thinking about. So firstly, looking at the unit, you'll see its new style. So the 540, 740 and up all share the new style that they introduced some years back with their STR integrated amplifier. It means a very simple, elegant design and with that a massive colour screen. So the first thing we see is the MRX uh, 540 uh, model number and above it Anthem. This is protected with a little um, pull away tag. Uh, please hang around for some photographs. The, the on-screen display and other things like that is really elaborate and kind of cool. So um, I'll drill into those and bring up some of the setup so we can have a look. There's a menu and the ability to navigate that using next input and other things along those lines. Navigation through the menu on the front display is relatively straightforward. Uh, menu se selects the menu itself and then you scroll through it. Um, is very very straightforward and making changes is really easy with the combination of the volume control used as a rotary encoder. Um, as I said there's an input and uh, input left and right, mute and then a main power. Now that's just a, um, well there's no connection to it, it's a, it's a relay uh, telling the rest of the amplifier what to do. Beneath that we've got some of the logos associated with the sound and visual processing that this unit has on board. There's Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos, um, Dolby Vision, there's the IMAX and DTS-X along with the HDMI and um, the ARC logos. There's a six and a quarter headphone socket and this model has Chromecast built in. Tilting it forward for a moment and again Please hang around for some photographs. If I get the light right, you'll see the characteristic, uh, almost iconic red circuit boards that Anthem have been using. Lots of ventilation, so you're going to have no issues as far as this thing from a temperature perspective. Uh, more ventilation on the side, and again you can see it's not very deep. This is only a five channel amplifier, so it doesn't need to be this big foot footprint. 
spinning it around and having a look at the back. This is realistically where all the, the key uh, inputs and outputs come together and where all the magic kind of happens. Starting at the boring end, we've got the IEC power input and with that, a small fan. The main purpose of the fan is actually to keep some of the key components, including the HDMI processing board, a bit cooler. Uh, with 4K and other really high frame rate content coming available, the HDMI board runs hot and we want to make sure it's cool. This is um, uh, temperature sensitive, sorry, uh, yes, no, volume sensitive, so um, the uh, fan will slow down in quiet passages, making it you know, infinitesimal as far as its noise. Above it we have one of the two uh, Wi-Fi antennas and seven HDMI inputs, all labelled one to seven. Beneath the HDMI inputs is a series of control, uh, which is the RS-232 IR and trigger control. You'll see an abundance of triggers, and this is because Anthem is very commonly uh, added to with large power amplification. Uh, this processor, although only five channel, you can add more to give it seven, or alternatively beef up its power and use its processing prestige to then deliver that control to any, any, any load, the, the largest of speakers available. It has a series of coaxial digital and optical digital inputs, along with a single optical digital out. Looking at the outputs, we've got two HDMI outputs, one of which has the eARC audio return. Then we've got a series of analog inputs, and then very, very clearly labelled, including the HDMIs, we have everything in white, associated with the outputs linking this to other things. Firstly we've got a line output and then a twin subwoofer output along with a dedicated chassis ground which is very very commonly used for external power amplification or with some subwoofer cables. You see the main pre-out should you choose to expand the capabilities of the amplifier and then the five channel uh, power outputs to the speakers. These are capped off with those classic little plastic caps and a little bit of a wiggle with a fingernail means that you can just pull those out and discard them. So, there we have it. Anthem's brand new MRX540 home theatre amplifier unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.